gems, how you doing? This is V Dominoff. How's your day going today? Today I'm answering a question from Sandy. So thank you Sandy for giving me this idea. Um, this is down to fit into the uh, tips and tricks uh, vlog. Check it out. But what we have is um, a question was made as to how to pick a size for a diamond painting. One of the things I tend to do when I'm actually having a custom made is I'll actually try and work out the size for myself before I start. But I go to threadbear.com, um, link below, and then I go to Pattern Maker. So this then brings you to a stitch maker that you use for diamond paint, well, for cross stitch, but also using it for diamond painting. What we do is to create this, you go into Designer. First thing I do is actually put an image into there. So I'm going to take an image that I took the other day. We're going to take this one. How Australian? <laughs> Kangaroo. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll work with this one. If you actually look to the right, I'm highlighting the fact that it is saying it's a diamond canvas, 125 by 94 that is huge okay um, the way you measure this look at this there's 500 stitches across 375 down and 40 dmc colors so what i'm going to do is change the size of this down um, on the left side you can see how i clicked on that and it says 500 I'm going to drop it down to if I well if I drop it down to close to 200 mark 196. This is going to change the image. This is now giving you if you look to the right you have 196 by 147 stitches or a 49 by 37 centimeter diamond canvas. If you actually look you can see. Um, how pixelated the kangaroo is so that is definitely not going to work so we're going to bring it up I'll bring it up to the 304 close to the 300 um, and if you look at this this is a much whoops much better size and this is a 76 by 50 um, probably cropping this would make a difference however you get an image you just want to pop it in there um, 76 by 50 I'd actually get this changed to I would be requesting an 80 by 60 for this one um, just as a size gauge now when you select um, diamond painting companies some diamond painting companies will not do any more than 40 colors die moon shop when they do customs or even most of their diamond paintings are 45 colors um, but I'll keep this on 40, 40 DMC colours. However, we're going to go look at the thread set. On the left, you've got a thread set. DMC447, DMC482. You've got your Riolis and your Anchor, which is obviously your cross-stitching. When you select, I'll do the 482 to make sure you have the correct DMC set go across to the right down the bottom where you see it says code click on that and set that into code number order if you can see there it starts with a zero one that is not the correct one we work with dmc codes i think the first one starts at 150 so if we change that dmc to the 447 we now have the lowest Code number is 168, all the way down to uh, the blank, the white. Uh, if you ever have an issue with being able to get that white, um, what is it, is it Snow White? 3865, if I recall off the top of my head. But this is where, whoops, <laughs> you scroll on the image, it just makes it bigger. Um, Hang on a sec, I'm just going to, no, nope, it's not going to let me do that. Okay. So if I did this one as a diamond painting, yep, 80 by 60 um, with 45 colours, which is about right. It's quite a lot of 310 in there. So if I scroll in, you see the 310. 
it's not too bad but I look at something and go if there's a lot of 310 it's going to be pixelated but the most colors is actually the black uh, black avocado green and pistachio green so that's giving me an idea that there's a blending of colors which are a lot better so you can sort by code color uh, code and count are the only two that you can go by um, and this is just because I've got it so small I can't change it around but count I used to be able to change it by change it it's not letting me do it okay anyway that is how you go and select your color uh, I'm gonna deselect that go back to yep go back to how I had it originally I'll scroll that out it's not going to be pixelated and 80 by 60 is going to be really good for that one now I'm going to go and pick another image um, and drop it in and I'm keeping the size the colors and the DMC code the same but here's a new another image as a 60 by 70 well uh, sorry an 80 by 60 this will actually come out not too bad scrolling in maybe a bit pixelated this is where you'll see your pixelation um, fair amount of color blocking in there but that's basically even that one as a 60 by 57 is pretty good but if I actually go up to around the 400 mark and size wise 100 100 by 75 that would even come out really well but there we go that's how I work out one I use this for, for more for my customs to work my customs out however um, if I'm getting a diamond painting that's a stock image I will drop that image in there and go okay I want it this size I want it that size so just that's just a little hint on how I do it um, hopefully this helps you out and I will say um, at this stage like comment share subscribe become a member but definitely share because it's something that a lot of people question um, I, I have found and this is probably why I have so many big diamond paintings because I look at the image and go too much pixelation I want it bigger <laughs> we all want it bigger oh, okay um, so yeah I'll leave that there thank you uh, gems for joining me and checking this one out and yet, yet again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.